A fairly new coffee shop in the warehouse district is serving up more than just coffee. The owner of Mr. Wolf Espresso and Art and Design Bookstore is a New Orleans native and St. Aug grad who worked in the hospitality industry for years. He used everything he learned there to open up his own spot and become a business owner. In today's You Auto Know segment, we head to Mr. Wolf to find out more about the man behind the name. Mr. Wolf Espresso, an art and design bookstore, is in the Contemporary Arts Center building. But you might wonder, who is Mr. Wolf? Can I get going for you? The simple answer is that Mr. Wolf is the owner, Wayne Clark. But there's more to the story. It makes me feel a way when people come in and they realize I'm the owner and they say, are you Mr. Wolf? Clark is starting to accept that customers think of him as Mr. Wolf, but he never intended for it to be his nickname. Nearly 10 years ago, he was going through a rough patch and felt like a loner. The wolf was his spirit animal. Back then, Clark was working in the hospitality industry, but he was already dreaming bigger. I, I approached every situation where what can I learn from here? Um, it's not mine. I can't make any decisions there. So uh, get in, do the best I can, learn everything I can, and what's next? So uh, that's something that I knew from, from, from the start. The St. Aug grad went to Tulane University with plans to become a dentist, but realized that career path wouldn't fit the vision he had for his life. I'm an entrepreneur at heart. My, uh, my granddad, uh, he owned a couple restaurants and hotels over in Gertown. And um, that's what all of my family tells me, that I have that, uh, that Papa Bill spirit. After six years of working and planning, in October of 2021, he opened Mr. Wolf. Now, originally, he just wanted an espresso bar, but he's already added a few other items to the menu. We went ahead and made that adjustment, so now we, we, we understand now that it's not about my vision, more so about serving the people that's coming to support what we're doing. See, Clark's vision is bigger than coffee. Coffee's, coffee's second here. This is uh, how I see it as, as, as community, and um, I know a lot of people probably say that, but I have a personal relationship with everybody that's in the spot. The space is also filled with art. So take a look at this gallery wall by Bianca Walker. It rotates out every other month, so you always have something new to see. Then there's this mural by Tyrell Shaw, which is absolutely amazing, a nod to Zulu there. And you gotta check out the books while you're here. They have so many great reads, and they're all organized so beautifully. They definitely catch your eye. This here is uh, Lawrence Youngblood. And uh, this is one of the guys who kind of just popped in the shop. After hearing more about the book, Clark purchased a few and sells them at the shop. Clark has worked hard to put himself in a position to empower others. So while he initially identified with the wolf because he felt alone, it seems now that the wolf represents Clark's strength, leadership, and power as an entrepreneur. That's what I work for, to be in the position to be the final decision maker. And former NFL player Glenn Foster was Clark's business partner, so he played a huge role in bringing Clark's vision to life. Of course, Foster died in police custody in Alabama back in December. Clark keeps a painting of him at Mr. Wolf. He says it's the only piece of art in the shop that's not for sale. Mr. Wolf is at 900 Camp Street on the first floor of the CAC building, and as for the future, Clark says he hopes to expand his hours and to add some wine into the mix. That could be part of your story on Instagrammable places. It could be. Eric. Yeah, there's a, the artwork there is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely go take some Instagram pictures there. They have a great Instagram and, account. And, uh, the, the, the CAC has, has just been great. I mean, they have a lot of business uh, offices up there and stuff like that. Yes, yeah. but and to be very shops, clear, yeah. he's completely separate from the CAC. You guys should definitely go visit. And I just love his story as an entrepreneur. So many people, young people in this city work in the hospitality industry. He came into it, didn't like how it was going, and decided to open his own part so he can run it how he and wants to. And of course, to. the three of us are not coffee drinkers, so you, you didn't get We don't drink coffee. I drank yeah. some tea, yeah. and my photographer, Will, did drink some coffee. Okay, and I love the, the wolves on the cups, too. Those are cool. I love yeah, his logo. Yeah. Doing so much at such a young 